Hello everyone, my name is Vikas and this is one more session from Tutorial Jari on the Solidity. So in the previous sessions we have covered uh, about the error handling and the low level logging. So in case you have missed that sessions and you haven't gone through that yet, so I will just share the links down below in this video so that you can go over the same also. So this session is uh, primarily focusing on the abstract contract. So I assume that you already know about the contract, what that means and why we create the contract in the Ethereum blockchain. And uh, are we just for trying to focus only on the abstract contract here. So what we'll cover in this session and in this video will make you aware about the abstract contract and how this can be used and the facts about the abstract contract which we have in the Solidity. So the very first question comes to the mind what it is. What is abstract contract in Solidity? So if you are new to the Solidity language uh, and if you have worked upon Java or .NET, maybe other languages before, you might have heard this concept before. So this is the same concept which we have in the Solidity. This is not nothing a new concept which is being introduced. This is uh, already being taken from the other languages which we have right now. So we'll explain you about this one, what is abstract contract when we talk about in the Solidity and uh, when you how we can check that whether the contract is abstract or not okay because this is uh, again one of the interview questions which people generally ask okay they they can give you a smart contract and they can ask you whether this is tell me that this is abstract or not so uh, the very basic thing which you have to understand about a abstract contract the contract is known as abstract only when one of the function in that contract does not have the implementations. So let's suppose you have a smart contract and in that one you have four or five functions. And if your one function does not have the implementations, it does not have the function body, then that contract is known as abstract contract. It does not matter whether other functions has the implementation or not this uh, it means to say here only one function if that one function does not have the body or the implementation then that contract is known as a smart uh, abstract contract so this one example which I just trying to show you here this is a member contract in that one we have only one function which is uh, abstract which does not have a function body or the implementations because of that this contract is known as abstract contract now other contract can inherit this abstract contract and they can implement the function which is not being being implemented in the abstract contract so this is one example as you can see here we have member contract where we have one function without body which is set name and then uh, this contract is being inherited by one more contract the name teacher so this is keyword is used to inherit any smart contract so teacher uh, is referring basically inheriting this member's contract so we can use this function like that way so set name public return then you can add a body here so this this way you are overriding the function which you have in the member's contract so this is how it can be used uh, in the solidity and there are few facts which you have to remember uh, if you try to compile or deploy the smart contract uh, sorry, not the smart contract which is abstract contract. You will not be able to do that one. So remember that one abstract contract can't be compiled and deployed on a blockchain. You will get some error which will show you in the hands on that what kind of error you will see when you try to compile or deploy that one on the blockchain. So the second point which you have to remember that if another contract is inheriting the abstract contract and if that does not implement the function again then that same contract will also become abstract so the example in the previous slides if teacher contract is inheriting the member contract but if it still don't if it still not implement it still doesn't have the body of the function then it will also become a abstract so 
that is a few facts which you have to remember about the abstract contract now let's jump to the hands-on and just see how you can uh, work upon the abstract contract in the solidity language so first of all I will open a remix browser and will create a new contract let me clean this one and let me name this as uh, abstract contract track con contract here dot solidity so in this one we define this uh, here pragma solidity and we define version here 0 0.4.20 so in this one we creating a contract here with the same name uh, let me create like the same example which we have taken in that one creating a member first of all so now create a variable here let me create a variable with the name string uh, string variable with the name name here so what we'll do here now I'm creating a function let's say I'm creating one set name function and this will be my public function then it will return me string value now uh, I'm not adding the function body here okay so once I define this function in this one so this will make my smart contract with any member as abstract because this function does not have any body so if I define one more function suppose uh, set age suppose I'm just creating one more here and I will define this one as public and this will return on inside integer and let me create one more variable first of all at top like age so I can set the age here I can get some value as an input so I'm assigning this one and then I will return this value the age so although now I have added one more function but if you have like uh, apart from these two functions you have many more functions like four or five function but if smart contract contain at least one function which does not have the function body or does not have the implementation that smart contract is known as abstract so this contract which you see this now member this is your abstract contract because there is one function with the name set name which does not have the function body this has only the function uh, function defined not the actual implementation now the very first fact which we have talked about that you will not be able to deploy uh, this abstract contract on a blockchain let's try that one so first of all if you try to compile you will be able to compile here now let's see and try to deploy here so once you try to deploy you will get this warning or the error this contract does not implement all the function and thus cannot be created because one of the function in that contract is abstract and that becomes that makes this contract as abstract now the another concept that uh, another uh, one more smart contract can inherit this one let's see that one how it can happen so if you see contract as teacher is inheriting so to inherit we have to use this is keyword so now what it has to perform let me make it uh, so once we do this one uh, you can directly override the function set name public returns string if you do not add the function body here also that makes this teacher contract as well as abstract contract so if you try to do to compile this will compile both when but if you just try to deploy just choose teacher here instead of member you will get the same issue this contract does not implement all the function does cannot be created but as soon as you add a body here in this one you will be able to deploy right so you can just say re uh, return mark so 
as soon as you do this one, now let's compile this one again. Let's try to deploy uh, this one and say deploy. You can see now you are able to deploy because now this teacher contract is no longer abstract. You can set the value here. You can set the age. Okay. You can set the age also and you can set the name also. Set name will work. Set the age also 23 should work. Right. So this is how uh, the abstract contract works in this uh, solid language. Right. So I'm hope I'm hopeful that this this tutorial is uh, helpful for you to understand about the uh, abstract contract, how you can use that one, and how it can be implemented in the uh, Remix browser using this solid language. Thanks for watching.